Since the dawn of time, human beings have used sound to receive information from their environment, to communicate with each other, and to heal and transform. Almost all ancient cultures and indigenous peoples believed and still believe that sound is the creative, generative force which brought the universe into being. In the New Testament, it is written in John chapter 1, verse 1, In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. The word here quite clearly refers to sound, which is the God force or creative force of the universe. In the Hindu tradition, the word Aum, which most of us know as Om, was the sound intoned by the deity Brahman that initiated the creation. Our modern day scientists have a Big Bang theory of creation. No doubt, the loudest of all the creation sounds we are likely to encounter. Indeed, it is our modern Western science that provides the most convincing evidence of the power of sound to shape and transform matter, which is the basis of its healing potential. We now know for certain, as did the ancients, that everything in the universe is made up of vibrating atoms. Every atom consists of a nucleus, with neutrons and protons at the center, and electrons which spin rapidly around the nucleus. The number of each of these particles differs according to the nature of the matter. The spinning motion of the electrons initiates a pulse, which creates a wave, and this wave we perceive with our human perception as form or physical matter. Whenever pulse, wave and form are present, there is sound. This has been called the law of the three. The frequency of sound waves is measured in hertz or cycles per second. If we measure the distance of an electron from the nucleus of an atom, we find that the proportional distance equals that of the Earth from the Sun, which is approximately 150 million kilometers. In other words, that which our human senses perceive as solid matter is mostly space and tiny theoretical particles which generate resonant electromagnetic fields. These energy fields are really dense manifestations of sound that feel physical to our slower human senses. All matter is sound and emits sound, although these sounds are mostly beyond our limited sense of hearing. Our physical bodies are therefore also resonant electromagnetic fields, as are our auras or biofields. Both physical and energetic bodies are generated by the atoms of which we consist. The science of cymatics most visually demonstrates the way that sound shapes matter. Cymatics is the study of wave phenomena and was made famous by German scientist Dr. Hans Jenny in the 1960s. His experiments showed that fine powders, sand and iron filings when placed on a flat metal plate or a membrane and resonated with sound waves, arranged themselves into intricate patterns. The various substances concentrated themselves in the troughs of the sound waves thus highlighting the areas where the sound was most dense. These visually impactful patterns are also known as Chladni figures, after the original discoverer Ernst Chladni, or Chladni, a German physicist and mathematician of the 18th century. Chladni figures, or cymatic images, are 
in the case of harmonious sounds, geometrically symmetrical mandalas. In the case of unharmonious or dissonant sounds, they are not symmetrical, yet are nevertheless fascinating to behold, very often representing organic figures as they occur in nature. We are in constant vibration. Every molecule, cell, tissue, organ, gland, bone and liquid in our bodies has its own rate of vibration. So too does each chakra and layer of our electromagnetic biofield or aura. These energy points and energy fields are of equal importance as the physical body. They reflect the state of the physical body and therefore the physical body reflects the state of the aura. The science of cymatics proves beyond a doubt that sound anywhere near the human organism will create a physical change within the organism and its electromagnetic fields. This occurs through sympathetic resonance, which is the transmission of sound through the air and then through any physical matter within reach of the sound waves. This physical change may be only temporary, but while it lasts, certain very powerful, magical things may also take place. And this is the moment of healing. Sound therapy is based on this principle of sympathetic resonance. Resonance is the vibratory rate of an object, and sympathetic resonance is when one vibrating object causes another to vibrate in harmony with it, or to match its rate of vibration. And this is how cymatics works. And examples are how opera singers may break glass with their voices, or how passing vehicles or aeroplanes may rattle your furniture. We've already established that every part of the body and its fields is, is vibrating. It is only logical then that each part of the body, whether organ or chakra, must have its own optimum healthy frequency. When we are ill, it's because some part of us is not vibrating harmoniously with itself, with the other parts, or with our surroundings. This dissonance or dis-ease may be healed with sound and intention, restoring the afflicted parts to their healthy frequency. By directing the correct sound toward ourselves or toward a person wishing to be healed, we are able to restore an optimum healthy vibration. Most illnesses begin in one of the subtle bodies. Our negative thoughts, emotions and programming take on denser form as crystallized pattern of energy in our etheric fields. These crystallized patterns gradually work their way inward eventually and ultimately manifesting as physical illness in the body, which is our densest electromagnetic field. Sound is able to dissolve these crystallizations of potentially harmful energy long before they reach the physical body. This is pure preventative medicine. Sound healers have many tools at their disposal. In the category of sound healers, I include shamans, sangomas, certain monks, gurus, and basically everyone who regularly uses sound to feel better or to help others to feel better. Western sound therapists mostly use a combination of voice and acoustic and sacred instruments from different cultures. 
a working knowledge of sound, intention, intuition and energy will provoke powerful changes on every level of one's being. Sound therapy is a holistic therapy operating on the physical, emotional, mental and spiritual levels. Through the regular use of sound combined with intention, we may begin to vibrate faster at a cellular and molecular level. And this is what is meant by raising your frequency. A higher rate of vibration creates larger spaces between the cells and molecules, making us less dense and preventing negative or intrusive energies from sticking to us easily. In the 1930s, the famous medium Edgar Cayce predicted that sound would be the medicine of the future. And that future is now. <laughs>